Hi guys, how you all doing? So today is Thursday. I have decided to take off today because first I was not feeling that well in the morning. Second, I am yet to get my new project, so I don't have much workload. I don't have much workload, so I thought I'll just take a day off, enjoy with my husband, and probably I will try to vlog. Right now, I'm not sure what I'm going to vlog. I'm not even sure if I'm going to post this on post this on. Also, we are we are. We are planning to go to India next month. Super excited! I'll be going to India after six months. I, I kid you not, guys. I'm so excited. Like, I am just, just over the moon that I'm going to India. I've been missing India way too much. So today we are thinking that maybe we'll go out and buy stuff for our family members. So I'll we'll see. Go. I'll try to vlog. Hope you'll enjoy this. A lazy day in my life. Because I was in happy mood today, I thought I'll make some sangria, and it helped that I had all the ingredients in my fridge. So you need some orange, apple, lemon, and of course some red wine. In the fridge at least for four hours one more thing i want to talk about uh, i am so excited i'm so happy that i took this unplanned day off and guys do you also feel that your unplanned days un unplanned uh, leave or unplanned holiday is much more interesting and much more exciting than a planned holiday and now we thought we'll go to westfield so westfield is like a shopping center or a shopping mall one of the biggest shopping mall in london and um there are a lot of shops there so i thought it'll be best place to go and buy different things i mean you can buy a lot of things at one day so only so that's great um but i'm a little bit scared also because last time when i went to westfield my phone was my phone got stolen um i just hope it doesn't happen again i'll be super super careful with my phone but i am a little bit scared but let's see we have reached so the mall is just next to the subway so you don't even have to get out of the subway you can just enter into the mall and the first thing you see is this big market spencers but we are not going there right now i'm really hungry so we're directly going to the food court we have reached the food court so you have mcdonald's subway and few other brands but we are going to try popeyes today Whatever you like. Waiting for an order. I'm so damn hungry. Food is here. Now I'm gonna eat first and then I'll vlog. Now we're heading to Flying Tiger, which is one of our favorite shops in London. What are these? It has very cute, innovative stuff. <laughs> I love these tiny crank fans. And as you know, June is a Pride month, so there was a lot of stuff around Pride theme as well. 
some more cute stuff so this is what i was talking about see they have these cute little clipboards so after spending quite some time at the store and buying nothing as usual i entered into this lego store uh, i love these harry potter legos especially the hedwig one if you see so fascinating there were also these two other legos on harry potter theme now we're going to the shop called entertainment to buy some toys for our niece and you see the pink area is the barbie area for me <laughs> I want this one this one you have a bandage right <laughs> I want this one Another interesting thing was these thousand pieces puzzles which became very famous during lockdown. Uh they also had cute one for kids and we bought one. And this was my favorite part of the store because I am a stationery freak. I love cute notes, diaries, pens and so many planners. And I wish I could buy them all, but I couldn't. So I'm just showing you So we bought bunch of stuff from those last two shops and now we are heading upstairs on the second floor to do some clothes shopping. This is the home decor section of H&M and it was so pretty. I love H&M home decor pieces. I feel they are very aesthetic. I am not sure about the quality, but yeah, they are very aesthetic and of course expensive. So we are done with H&M paid our bill now we are going to Mark and Spencer to buy some uh clothes for our family members So we bought a tea masala chai I will drink and give the review What god it smells nice Very sweet, but not that bad. Samosa. This is the filling. So we've been in this mall from last four hours. We're super tired. I bought some stuff. We had our chai. and now we'll go to our favorite grocery store martin fancy food so now we're going to martin spencer to buy some groceries look at this uh I, and i always feel the taste and the quality of food in martin spencer is much better than tesco or sainsbury some more fruits And yeah, so they also have these semi-cooked uh, food, so veg, non-veg. You just need to put them in oven, and in few minutes, your food will be ready. They have an Indian section where they have ready-to-eat Indian meal. For example, this is complete Indian meal in one packet. They have a lot of other options: chicken tikka, paneer tikka. You can also see rice, some rice in curry. These are not frozen meals, so the shelf life will be only for a week or so. This is another cool section where you can get your own container and refill whatever you want to buy. So we just missed our train, and now we're waiting for the next one. I'm home finally, super tired. But now it's time to have some sangria.
was really yummy it's very simple to make so if you guys want to try you can um, you have the recipe now um now i'm very tired i'm going to call it a day and just sleep um and i'm going to end the vlog here it turned out to be random vlog but i'm posting it anyway because you'll still get to see how malls look like in london though they are not very different from india but the grocery store are different so you'll see how grocery stores are in london and i hope to see you in the next vlog